trouble. Now White, he catches Stanley! Kevin Keats thought he was fouled. Took him a while to get back up. Stanley back up and down after a... After Jack White, two on one. Here it comes Stanley! Uh-oh. Lobs it to Stanley! Oh! Pushes it down for two! That ball was behind him. That was reminiscent of the pass Bobby Hurley threw to Grant Hill. Give it to him! Off the window! And he's fouled as well. Joe Girard able to knock it down. Don't look now, but it's back to a two-possession game. Ah! And then it's not. Another, another BC turnover. Stanley. Oh, how about that? Quick step back before Jerry's Hamilton was able to draw the charge. Look at Stanley go to work and score. Jack White, who was terrific down the stretch the last 10 minutes of the win over the Jayhawks. Stanley spinning off pass. Players to play in the front court. Oh! Well, if you go over two people, I don't think Patrick Ewing's wrong about that. Oops. Oh, my goodness. Another turnover saved here by Goldwire. Stanley. <laughs> Good pass. The turnover just take it away. Yeah. What a steal by Stanley. Stanley driving on Anthony, lays it in. And two steals. Heath got himself in trouble. Now White he catches Stanley. That you want to see from them. You can't take away everything they do. Well, catch Stanley. Yeah. Yeah. He should be playing it. And so what does Mike Shushevsky do with his young team? He's talked a lot to us. As Cash is tackling, yet Louisville still leads. And by the way, that foul on Vernon Carey Jr. I just want to keep an eye on That's number three on him. Stanley elevating again. Another, another tough one. A yeah, very tough three there for Warren. And it's Stanley again. So Louisville needs a top. And what you're going to see is he's not going to chase the basketball. That was a skip pass feed inside. He maintained his position. When he chases the basketball, he actually collapses driving lanes for his teammates. Misses that shot, and here comes Cassie Stanley. Who's your pick? Who's your pick? Uh, going to come you know, yeah, here? Yeah, you got to stay with the uh, with the Mavericks. And uh, the rebound doesn't mean you have to shoot the ball. Stanley! Oh! Thunderbird from the free throw line. Blocked out of the air by Goldwire. Junior from North Cross, Georgia. And at the rim, Cassie. Do it. Stanley, the putback in four shots. Freshman out of Los Angeles. Off the turnover. Stanley. Oh, oh, the scoop oh, and the oh, score. Oh, he just. And around. Thunderbird from the free throw line. Blocked out of the air by Goldwire. Junior from North Cross, Georgia. And at the rim, Cassett. Kevin Keats thought he was fouled. Took him a while to get back. Ah, step go. Struggling to shoot the ball. And Let's they hit it. Ahead. Cassius oh. Stanley doesn't know how important it is to be able to get him going. Stanley looking for the quick strike and one as well as he got. The freshman will misfire there. Carry with the rebound. And not getting back defensively. Oh, wait a minute. Bass to continue to put the pressure on Duke and see if you can get Carry to pick up another foul. Gold wire ahead to Stanley. He attacks the rim and looking down at it, lays it poked away by White. Jones feeds ahead and it's an easy jam for Stanley. A couple of guys as grad transfers and he's hoping that Garrett can uh, give a little spark to that. Turn his back. Another turnover. Jones ahead to Stanley. Off the bench, a grad transfer from Tulsa and he gets rejected. Duke also among the leaders in the nation in block shots. Cassius Stanley all the way to the Kansas and Michigan State. Another turnover here. Here's Stanley. Airport, yes! Comes to the Blue Devils. A nice job by Hurt. Oh! Stanley with a flush at the other end. Strong on the pull-up. Goldwire with numbers. Stanley elevates. And lay five record in the Ivy League pick fifth preseason. Stanley with the throwdown. The layup. Here goes Stanley, with the hammer! Poked away, two on one for the Blue Devils. Up and down! Cat 
He lost the handle. Look out, it's Stanley. With a lay in this time. Right there, there's that denial. Stanley. Whoa! Cassius Stanley! Who can really play. But the best freshman in the country knows that's three turnovers in a row now. They can't see the timeout to talk about this. Nice pass. A Baji from the corner. That was the shot they wanted. They couldn't get something to win another pass. Wow. Jones to Stanley again. Boy, what a terrific job of attacking. And Stanley! The offensive rebounding capability off the floor limits North Carolina's offensive output. Stanley with Andrew Playcheck on him. And Stanley knocks down Boston. Makes it so for big. Well, wait till he gets to be 30. That won't be an issue. <laughs> Stanley with two at the cup. Duke doing well. They are reliable three point shooters, or at least they have proven themselves reliable three point shooters. And yeah, the first two games entering tonight, Duke just 12 of 46 from beyond the arc. Stanley stayed patient. Man, he has been efficient so far in the league. You don't have the veteran teams that you've had in recent years necessarily. With a long capability off the floor it limits North Carolina's offensive output. Stanley with Andrew Playcheck on him. And Stanley. FSU win an impressive game against Louisville last night. Shot clock to 10. Stanley lets fly and he'll hit a two pointer. And, and I, I favor Obi Toppin. Yes, but, I agree with that. But I wouldn't argue with anyone who felt otherwise. Jones would carry two man game. He can't butt. That's going to be laid in by seeds, and especially in ACC play. And if you go back to the game against Miami, four for 21 from the field, one for Ray Jones on the right side. Oh, Harry the miss, but Stanley has had a quiet night. Stanley above the rim again. Nothing quiet. My cousin's Jordan Cornette, glad to have you with us as Duke has continued to stretch its lead. Gravity defying finishes. Jones has help. Baker for three. Stanley the rebound. I can still, you, know, you still remember the roof of your mouth being raw yes. after eating yeah. two bowls. You couldn't just have one bowl and have front end of two. <laughs> Stanley got it back and finishes on the drive. <laughs> and the tap follow for Stanley is good. Wow, Carey, no, Stanley, yes. To me, it's those three guys. And, and I, I favor Obi Toppin. Yes, but, I agree with that. But I wouldn't argue with anyone who felt otherwise. And game, he can't butt. That's going to be laid in by Stanley. Especially in ACC play, and you go back to the game against Miami. Four for 21 from the field, one for eight. On the right side. Oh, Harry, the miss, but... Stan, my cousin's Jordan Cornette, glad to have you with us as Duke has continued to stretch its lead. Gravity defying finishes. Baker for three. Stanley the rebound. To the basket. And Jordan Bullwire went to try to block the bottom of that shot. He's probably better off trying to take a charge. They're going to Stanley again. And it pays. Up coaching big guys, and Sar continues to get better and better. And yeah, he's a he's an excellent basketball player. He's playing his very best right now. Wake Forest could be dangerous. Oh, They're playing better lately. Playing times diminished a bit lately. Joey Baker. Now Stanley, down to eight to shoot. They double carry again. He finds Stanley for the land. Slammers in Springfield who are doing these things that you can do. And you know who Co Coach Nate James showed him when you talk about those greats? Showed him Kobe Bryant. And said, the mob of mentality. That killer when you're on the court. What separates good from great? In year with the program after transferring from Texas in a high-flying egg. To align with their opponents. Uh-oh. <laughs> That was St. John's. Stanley up and through. So we're on the shot clock for Stanley, and it swirled out. Oh, Offensive rebound and the stick back. Shot, he's probably better off trying to take a charge. They're going to Stanley again.
and it pays with a smaller lineup for the first time with the Sosa the five and four basically perimeter players out there along with them that's a poor offensive possession for North Carolina Robinson with 13 points five rebounds three points tonight time to knock it down how about Carey trying a three Moore keeps it alive for Duke Stanley yes so their main point of emphasis was to get the basketball inside because this is not a great three-point shooting Duke team, and they don't want to settle for threes. They want to be able to attack the paint. The Cassius Stanley does the exact. Now with 12 points, has been great on the interior in this game and with his passing as Cassius Stanley steps up. On his right hand. Stanley navigates a trio of... Just can't get it to carry. Now Stanley for three. Wow. For Duke, so he keeps on playing at a very high level, more ways than one. He'll slice it, gathered in by Goldwire. They make a great back cut, and then Vernon Carey erases it with a terrific block shot. Against most teams, that would have the back cut would have carried the day, and Duke scored. So Ryan Miller's got to get that ball. He had Cassie Stanley there. Stanley wide open, count it. So that's just beautiful back. Nice outlet to Jones, results in a corner three. For Markel Johnson, six and a half assists per game, number one in the conference. Trey Jones, Duke second, six point three. And he's a guy. Obi had 18 points in their ACC opener. Is going to fly once again on the road and be able to rebound for what hasn't been a great first half in C State. Trey Jones has emerged as perhaps the favorite for ACC Player of the Year. And the junior guy getting 16.6 assists. A problem here tonight. And he said it flat out. He said we were not competitive against NC State. Another bit of regulation in the five minutes of overtime by himself. He outscored North Carolina by two. There's a three for Cat. And Amanda Baycock got away with a little push in the back there. Fortunate that wasn't called. Duke off to a slow start offensively. Hurt with a nice look to Stanley, who buries a corner three. He's on pace for the best assist to turnover ratio in Duke history. Nearly at the expiration of the shot clock. Goldwire and Jones both in the backcourt. And Stanley Wilkins for the Demon Deacons. That's the matchup. Saw it can make Kerry dance uncomfortably defensively in the perimeter. Stanley trying to answer and he does. It's way down. Kerry dance uncomfortably defensively in the perimeter. Stanley trying to answer and he does. The pass was too late. And Jack White read it beautifully to take it away. That should have been a bucket for Kansas instead. It... Duke saw FSU win an impressive game against Louisville last night. Shot clock to 10. Stanley lets fly and he'll hit a two pointer. Hey, 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 